There it is. It's my tabernacle that I built today. All by myself. Out of two by twos and branches. See? And that's my dinner in there where I'm going to eat. And that's the sun simulator over there. <laughs> but yeah, welcome to the Feast of Tabernacles, guys. And guess who else had a rough ramshackle dwelling to uh, give birth to the Son of God in? It was Mary and Joseph who Mary gave birth to Jesus Christ in a rough lean-to tabernacle because there was no room at the inn. Now what does that symbolize? There's no room for anybody. There wasn't any room in society for Jesus Christ because they had clung to their established laws and statutes and they couldn't accept him and they can't accept us now but we conform our lives to the Bible because that's what God wants us to do, you know? That's John 3.16. I made a tarp with John 3.16 on it <laughs> when the guys were installing my security cameras and uh, the helicopters were buzzing over like every few minutes. So I made that message for the helicopters. But it's appropriate here on my, next to my tabernacle. God so loved the world that he got his only begotten son for us. And we go on the inside. My puppy eating his dinner. And above, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight branches for eight days of the Feast of Tabernacles or Sukkot. And then one branch going across for crossing the Jordan. Okay guys, well I'm gonna enjoy my meal and I hope that you all are Conforming your lives to God's word. Go in peace. Bye-bye.